What's wrong with everyone dressing the same, performing? You go to Dancing with the Stars. You go to So You Think I Can Dance. You go to um, uh, ballet, opera, gymnastics. And what are they all doing? They all have the same styles as far as garments on. This thing about us throwing on a pair of jeans and looking ragged and getting on stage and want someone to pay big money to see you again is not working. We have to recognize what's not working. The New York City Breakers deliver routines and we deliver style on and off the court. So when we, when we roll, we roll happy. And that's not here today because they've accepted because we looked at it as a blessing, something that we started. They look at it on film, take from it, add to it, and think that they have been through hip hop. Most of them dance. I have a bullet in my, I got shot in the Bronx. It's, it's not all over the world. Now, some people will know, but I can tell you some horror stories about back in the days. And that's what made Mr. Wave. Not just that I knew a few moves. Are you serious? You think Crazy Legs didn't go through the ringer? You think Wiggles didn't go through the ringer? We are, and someone told me a story, and, and I had to feel it because I'm still learning myself. They told me, right now, we were in the 80s, and, and, and we have solid names behind ourselves. But when we die, then who do they look to? There's so many different dances, so many names, but what icons came in the 90s? Can you rattle off 10, 15 people? You still keep going back to to legs, you go back to wave, you go back to us, you know why you go back to us? Not because we're so much the originators, it's because the energy that we give you when you see us, if that makes any sense. Because I don't stand before you as a dancer, <laughs> I stand before you as part of the historian, part of the history, and there lies the difference. You know, so this stuff needs to be talked about, needs to be taught. Because that's what they need to know, respect. Don't respect the moves, respect it, what these individuals have done to be here and still be here. The special K's and the Tila Rocks and the Bams and the Hurts and the Mel's. This is, this is a generated gift to allow you to understand that, and, uh, and countries have picked up on it. I was just talking to Brazil and they said that Beach Street, to Brazil, Beach Street was the first of hip hop because all they had was poverty. Remember, we hadn't made it over there in the late 70s and all that. See, people need to be educated to really, we feel a certain way here. Go across the river and they feel a certain way, but get to Brazil, get to Africa and let them tell you their story. It's different. And they call me, I get emails, I get, I get all kinds of Facebook hits and they tell me their story. You know, I'll tell you a quick story and I'll leave this alone. Guy from Russia, he hits me, he says, Mr. Wade, you know, I love you, I love your movie, big respect, thank you for friending me. Then he says in the same breath, could you give me the address to some abandoned buildings, some burnt buildings? And then I said, I tried to leave it alone, went past, he asked me two more times, my friend's coming from Russia, we need to see some burnt buildings. And I said, let me tell you something, my friend. God blessed us with talents to get away from those burnt buildings. The burnt buildings, that's not hip hop. His next phrase to me was, but that was in Beach Street. You see what I'm saying? They're not educated. And we need to educate them, you know.